Hi everyone, Sarah here. So let's just jump straight into this look. So here I am applying shade Doll Face to the lower eye area. I was actually going to put the brown on first, but there's still a bit of pink left on the brush. So I just switched it round and went in with the pink. And then I'm just here putting shade Suede on top of it. So usually I will go in with the light brown first, just to get some shadow there and get the shape that I want. Then I'll go in with the color afterwards. So I'm just building up the lower eye area with a mixture of suede and doll face and actually a little bit of Dumor as well from the uh, Rose, Rose Gold Remastered palette from Huda Beauty. And for the brow bone, I actually chose to use the Charlotte Tilbury um, Bronze and Glow palette just because the highlighter in that is a bit more suited to my skin tone. It's a bit more of a champagne colour. Um, in a corner here is shade Bubbly from the Huda palette. And then I'm just going back into the under eye area and just darkening up the pink a little bit with doll face and shade risk. So again, just building up that colour on the under eye area. So I do like to start a lot of my eye makeup designs with the under eye area first so I can get the shape that I want and then I'll build it up on the top part afterwards. So here I'm just going in with shade uh, Suede just to give a little bit of contour to the top of the nose area. This is really nice actually uh, to do this because it adds a little bit of definition on the top of the nose moving into the eyebrow and then it also leads into the socket when you come to do that part of the makeup as well. So I will be listing all of the brushes that I use on the text overlays so you can, you're able to have a look at them as well. And just on the um, rim of the eye there, I just used the Billion Dollar Brows eye brightener which is like a flesh coloured pencil which just brightens the inside of the eye area. So just working into the socket I'm going in with shade Suede and Dimor. So Suede is more of sort of a grey brown undertone and Dimor has got uh, more of a pink base to it so it's quite nice to mix the colours together out of the palette. And then I've just got a smaller brush here. This brush is amazing. I've actually only just recently, well, I'd say from Christmas when I got my Zoeva brush set, this brush was in there and I'd never used it before. And it's amazing for adding definition into the socket area. So for this um, part of the eye, I went in with shade Risk and Doll Face. So we're keeping within the pinky purple tones because this eye look, it's all about building up the pink tones with a little bit of brown and a little bit of black added in at the end as well. So just keep building up the colours and you can take the brush into the top of the nose area like I did there as well because it's going to transfer some of the colour over which can look quite nice and complete the look a bit more for you as well. And when you're blending in the socket area just make sure that you sort of pull the brush out of the eye instead of bringing it down because sometimes it's a bit of an old fashioned way of applying makeup to be honest. People tend to blend down and it, what it does is it drags the eye down so you just want to avoid that and make sure you blend up and out and this is going to elongate the eye and give you a much nicer shape as well. So I'm just going in with a smudger brush and I'm using black truffle. It's a really nice dark black out of the Huda palette and I'm just keeping this more to the end of the eye area just so that again I can blend it outwards and give my eye that nice shift so it elongates out rather than sort of pulling down. And I'm just going in here with a little bit more of the risk and the doll face just to add a little bit more pink under the eye. So even though you've finished an area, you can still go back to it to add more. So even though I've done the in the eye area, I might want to add a little bit more at the end. So I'll go back and do that. So you can always return to areas to add a bit more if you want to. So there I am actually doing that. I'm just adding in shade bubbly out of the Huda rose gold palette i've actually mixed that in with a little bit of pink diamond as well the shimmers in this palette are amazing they're so beautiful so if you love rose gold pink colors this palette will be amazing for you and you can do so many different looks with it as well so just make sure you do blend as well so you always apply blend apply blend and this is what's going to give you that really nice seamless finish you just need to make sure you blend in every color in between the applications so for this part here, I actually went in with the Kryolan HD liner in rose gold and used it as a cream base, but it didn't actually film. So I'm just patting, so I do apologise for that, but I'm just patting over the cream base, some of the bubbly and the pink bubble shimmers so that it's got something to stick to. And it's, that's actually the cream liner I'm showing there, which is what I used 
just on the lid, which is why I tend to keep the lid quite light when I do these looks, because it gives me the option to either put a matte colour there or go in with some texture with a shimmer. But I just use the Kryolin liner as an eyeshadow base and then I put the shimmer over it and that's just going to make the shimmer pop a lot more as well and just give it something to cling to. So here I'm just going in with the black truffle. This is going to be my eyeliner effect. So you don't always have to use an eyeliner to get that definition that you want. You can go in with an eyeshadow, which is much, much softer. And it's much more forgiving if, you know, you do maybe put a bit too much on or it goes in the wrong place. You can get a cotton bud and amend it. Because if that was liner, gel liner, it would be much harder to correct. So you can always go in with the black, eye, uh, black eyeshadow first smudge it to the softness that you want and then go over it with an eyeliner and that way you've already got the line there so it's a bit easier to practice your eyeliner techniques going in with the eyeshadow first this brush is amazing as well it's out of mazo Ifa, uh, makeup artist brush so it's really really nice so i'll make sure i list that in the description for you as well And again, always buffing the eyeshadow eyeliner effect with a small brush and then I'll go in with a larger brush afterwards just to sort of pull the eyeshadow out of the eye a little bit more. Okay, so I'm just going in with my mascara. I've had this quite a while actually. I really do need to get a new one. This is the Climax Mascara from NARS. I love this mascara because the brush is quite, it's quite chunky and it's a bristle, bristle brush. I'm not a fan of the more sort of plasticky brushes, um, personal preference, but this mascara does, it really does lengthen your lashes and it makes them look a lot fuller as well. I wasn't actually uh, blessed in the lash department, so a good mascara is always welcome. So just make sure you layer that on and use the end of the wand to your advantage as well, just like I'm doing here. So you can flick the lashes to separate them and also give them a bit more length as well. So let one eye dry while you work on the other and then alternate between the two. And I'm just showing you here that, like I mentioned earlier, you can go back to certain areas of the eye and add more if you want to. So if you want a bit more definition in the socket, you can definitely go back and add that in at the end. 